Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Console, and I'm very excited to let you know that the new consumer magazine for quarter one has just released. So let's take a look and see how you can design it, some best tips and practices, and I'll give you some tips how to share it as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we're gonna go right over here into the designs applet, a little square with a paintbrush it looks like on it, and we'll select that. From there, we're gonna go right into create design here in the top right hand corner and we'll create design. This is a magazine, so in that case it is print. So we'll select print and hit continue. One thing to know is if you haven't added your assets your uh, up here, which is essentially your headshots, your logos, any other images you wanna regularly, regularly use in, in your marketing and designs, be sure to add them up here. I'll show you more what that means in a, uh, just a moment. But go ahead, we're gonna go down here to lead generation and we'll hit personally branded zine. From there, there it is. We have the newest magazine right in here. So we'll go ahead and hit use. It's gonna boot right into there and we've got it right there. So few things I'm going to point out and we're going to go through uh, some of the best tips for creating this. We're going to just skip this little menu right here. Uh, first things first, you see images and you see multiple headshots. I mean, these are, remember I talked about adding your assets to that area with headshots and logos and such. This is all where that pulls from. Uh, the same will be said for the logo section as well. So a few different tips there. Now this is how you can personally brand it and I'm going to show you a few of the top things to do it. So go ahead and you can, uh, you see the logo since you have logos open right here, we'll go ahead and replace it. I have a red and dark gray photo for my office here in Reno, Nevada. Uh, and I, you can see it's the same coloring. It's not red and white because white would not show up in the background here. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that over it. So what you can do is you just hold, select it and then hold it and drag it all the way till it, as you see, it will replace that once you let go. Perfect. Now, if you have like a personal logo such as myself here, I might drop that in and I can just drag it and drag the corner to resize it uh, as well. There we go, we're good. And you can select that wherever you want. Remember, this is your magazine. Then you can go over here and you can change this text here. Now you can always double, uh, you know, click in here to get that. Uh, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to select without zooming in and seeing that text. My favorite is once you have that text box selected, Go up here to that typewriter button right in between the bold and the font size and it's if you hover over it says typewriter select that and as you can see since we have that text box highlighted it's going to show the text that's in there so i could just go in here and i could just type in my name we'll go garrett stewart and then we'll go in here and we'll type in realtor you could put whatever you want though you can put your realtor or, or or just put name whatever his save changes and boom, there we go. And just like that, we have the front page uh, updated to where we want. Now we could click the pages here and see. Now one thing I should point out is I did jump right to the first page. Uh, there are three different designs for the front of the magazine. So if you select here, this is a different one uh, uh, on here. So if you want a different front page, you can do that. You have this one as well. Uh, so you have a few different ones. So uh, as you do that, my suggestion is uh, pick whichever the three you like for the front. And then if uh, when you decide uh, which one you want, I'm going to go with that first one. I already started editing. I like that um, nice interior photo. We'll go ahead and hit delete uh, and hit yes. And just so you see that again with those three dots over the one I want to delete since I'm keeping this one, we're going to do this one. We'll hit three dots and hit delete. Yes. There we go. Now, we're gonna move through uh, all these other pages uh, on here. So we'll go ahead and uh, you'll just do the exact same thing that we did previously of uh, being able, and looks like this one just landed a little bit weird. Uh, we might just drag that over and we can, what we did before, select that text box, hit that typewriter, and we can change that to Garrett. Save changes, and there we go. Now, headshot part here. We'll go ahead and click images and we'll go ahead and replace that headshot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll just go whoop, and we'll drop it right in there. Now, if you wanted to crop it or anything, you could double select it and then you know you could drag that out and kind of center it where you want. If I 
uh, did want it that way. And then hit done. Uh, and it should, actually it's not crapping for me. That's an interesting one. <laughs> uh, and my, I'll have to report that for you guys, but uh, you get the gist of it. Um, of how that works. Now, we'll go ahead and hit the um, the text box right in here. We could go and hit that typewriter. And as you can see, they have pretty much it all typed out for you. You don't have to type out a whole um, intro. All you got to do is update this to the areas that are in brackets of if you're part of a team or your solo agent. For myself, I'm a solo agent here in Reno. And so we're going to go to my, so we'll get rid of that bracket and then we'll go boop, 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 and right there. So in honor of 22, the theme of this issue is, of my real estate magazine is, so it goes right there. So you got, we would do the same there and there. And uh, I don't think there's anything, oh no, right there and there. So we'd edit all that, obviously put our signature uh, line all in there. And then once we're good, we'll save changes and be all set. And then uh, if we wanna, you know, obviously we would change the text on there and move to the next page. Uh, update that logo in the top left corner too. <laughs> uh, then you go in here, this is going to be what you choose to uh, do for your market stats. So this kind of talks about either neighborhood market stat and company market stats. What I've decided to do for mine personally was I chose to do um, two different areas, uh, two different neighborhoods within Reno. Um, here, so we have Reno, Nevada, and we have Sparks, Nevada. So I would do those two between it if, if I didn't want to necessarily do the company snapshot uh, and figure that out. Uh, but whatever you have preferred, this has uh, insert company snapshot. So if you wanted to do for your local Keller Williams office and put some stats on there, you could do that as well and showing how you're outperforming the market. Uh, you could do your personal stats as well instead of the company too. So whatever you feel comfortable with though. Obviously, once you edit that, and you you would just select each box, and you can just do the typewriter, and um, same thing, just select each box and edit that. You can always zoom in to in and out with these buttons down here, by the way. Then we're going to go through all the pages on here, and a lot of these pages will not need to be edited. You can see right on there, looks great, it has nothing needed to edit, so uh, those are always nice. <laughs> Uh, same thing here. It looks like everything on here is good to go. So we're just going to cruise through. Uh, it looks like this page might uh, be the same. Yep, that is the case. And so we're just going to go through these different pages. There is a featured listing portion. If you wanted to advertise one of your featured listings, even if it goes pending, that's okay. You're marketing yourself that you have listing and might just get a conversation piece going. Then it's going to go to the next story of... 10 ways to stay motivated in 2022. And uh, looks like right here, uh, doesn't look like we have to edit anything. And it looks, I'm guessing, same for the second page of this. We look good, so awesome. Then we're gonna get to the page 10 here. And there we go. We're gonna go ahead and edit all this stuff. Now, if you created the magazine before, you may recognize pretty much you're gonna be able to kind of just ma mirror match that data over, uh, over into this area. So if you have created the magazine before, you do have all, a lot of the stats already done, maybe update it over the last quarter um, if any of these stats have changed, but everything else should be the same. So you would just obviously, again, upload your headshot, replace that, and keep on going through there. Same with logo, and then obviously um, edit those stats right there with my favorite typewriter button. <laughs> so uh, we'll go through all that. Once you're done with that, we'll go to that next page. And this is success stories. So uh, this is always my tip for here. If you don't have pictures of your clients, uh, these are great for areas for testimonials. Maybe you don't necessarily have pictures of them. Uh, you know, sometimes you have those shy clients or a lot of times I like to take pictures with my clients in front of the house. If that's not the case either, then what I what's a good option to is put a picture of the house that you sold. Uh, and then that way that that is the transaction that they're reviewing you on and you can do it from there. So uh, of course, whichever um, you feel most comfortable with and that you can do, you can put a couple of uh, quotes right there from them too. Then it's gonna go to the last story, Happy New Homes. Uh, it talks about new construction and going through that process right there. Same thing, we're just gonna be able to skip through a few pages. We'll just jump through there. 
we do have on page 15 here uh, some winter listings that you could highlight just to get, again, the conversation going. And then at the very end here, you have a picture of you ask an agent. So it's essentially a way to advertise you, talk about, uh, you know, what, um, you know, answer a question. Their prompt is, uh, what home improvements can boost my property value without burning a hole in my wallet? So whatever you would like to talk about there, if you have something in mind you'd like to um, have as a prop, uh, a popular question, uh, go ahead and put that in there. Uh, and then finally, there's two end pages that you can choose from. Uh, you can just do that one uh, or this one. Uh, so this one kind of just advertises the download on those app store um, and this one actually has your specific link if you want to do your url right there so whichever one you'd like to highlight you can do that uh, i will point out one very important thing and if you do intend to print this out in a magazine type format the page count needs to be in multiples of four uh, otherwise you may have a blank page which on the back side might not necessarily be terrible um, but I would only um, have one blank page. So with that said, um, we're obviously we would get rid of one of these pages. We'll go ahead and do this very last one. Okay. Uh, now, the, again, this is for printing only because uh, with the way it's printed in the magazine, it's um, two pages on the front and two pages on the back of each piece of paper that's used for magazine. So it needs to be in multiples of four to be um, completely even to have every single page used. Uh, so with that said, you may, uh, if there's a point in here that you're like, ah, I'm, maybe I want to highlight these listings, those uh, that page of all these listings, but maybe not that one page with just that one listing, uh, you could do that. Maybe you don't want to do your testimonials this month or your little portfolio of yourself, uh, whichever you feel comfortable with it, or you know, you'd rather not have in there. You could just choose one of those not to include and then you would have 16 even pages for your magazine. Uh, so let's just go ahead for this example and say, hey, you know what? I, I sent them my stats uh, this last quarter. I'm not going to do my stats this quarter. So we'll go ahead and we'll just hit three dots and delete that page this time. Again, you don't have to do that, but it'll just make it look better if you do intend to print these. There we go. We're down to 16 pages. We're all set. Now all we've got to do is uh, we've got it already titled. Uh, and so we can hit the download button and PDF for printing, and we could uh, hit all pages if we're downloading all of it to get printed. Uh, ask your printer if they do need the include bleed option or any crop marks or anything. So if you're getting it printed at places like Office Depot or um, uh, Staples, the UPS store, these are all places that I've had done for printing. You're, uh, just ask them if they have any requirements. Another option you can do is share it digitally. You could hit the share option right here and then hit the project. And from there, you can actually copy that website address right there. Uh, so you would just copy and from there, and this is says anyone can view it. So as long as you have the link, uh, if you share that anywhere, so we'll just do example there, we'll hit paste. Um, it'll be able to pull in that specific design. And there we go. Look, that's what we created. And they can scroll through every page that we've done in there um, if you wanted to share it digitally. Now, if you are intending to share it digitally and want a great smart plan to send it out, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can do that right on my website, commandconsult.com, and hit videos. And on that video tab, you're actually going to see a video uh, widget on there where you're gonna be able to see all of my video trainings. If they decide to load for the demo, of course, um, I may have to uh, take a quick little peek of that um, where it's, why it's not loading. But <laughs> you should see a subscribe button up here. Uh, if not, you can always go to my YouTube channel and just search my name, Garrett Stewart Command, and you'll find, oh, here we go, there we go. Just took a second. Um, there we go. Um, and you can, there's the subscribe button right there and watch my videos. You can search for them right there. So if you had a question on something like postcards, you can actually type in uh, postcards and it'll post in and there we go. We've got a couple of different videos about postcards. So that's uh, a little bit about uh, what you can do for future videos. I will be making a smart plan that you can use to send this out later this week. So thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day and I will see you next time.